for, for everybody's back up here, I'd like to uh, say a little bit about this song. It's called uh, Brilliant Corners and it has kind of an interesting story behind it. Uh, it was originally recorded in 1956 with an all-star band featuring, uh, I don't know if you any, I don't know if you know these names, Sonny Rollins, Max Roach, Oscar Pettiford, Ernie Henry, uh, these are impeccable jazz musicians, and when they saw this song, it, they couldn't, they couldn't play it after, <laughs> the story is after four hours and 25 takes, and what they ended up releasing on the album was, um, was a composite take made up of a series of incomplete takes. That being said, the album Brilliant Corners uh, propelled Monk to, um, from being something of a very controversial figure, often dismissed as a sideshow freak because of his, or, or something like that, because of his uh, stage behavior, his way of dressing, his uh, his uh, reputation, his, un his erroneous rep reputation for unreliability. The album Brilliant Corners was the first of his albums that was really well received, and it was the first album that a first album of his that was really taken seriously. And I want you to know that this is when he was 39. So he he had he wasn't just coming onto the scene. He'd been doing this for the past 15 years or so. And during all this time, he didn't really change his style at all. So that takes quite a lot of commitment. There's I believe there's a quote in the program. Uh, I say play what you. Uh, play your own way. Don't play what the public wants. You play what you want and let them let the public pick up on what you're doing Even if it does take them 15 or 20 years, so <laughs> Which is what happened with Monk it Took 15 or 20 years to be taken seriously. Anyway uh, That that in and of itself takes quite a bit of commitment and Commitment to being honest and being yourself in your music. Anyway, with that out of the way, here is Brilliant Corners Take one <laughs> Take one. See you in four hours. <laughs> by the way, by the way, uh, I mentioned about Monk's uh, stage antics. He would often rehearse, uh, rehearse his band on stage. I mean that literally. He would actually teach the band the songs while he was on stage in front of the public. Anyway, hopefully that won't be happening tonight. <laughs> Thank you. 